When you first go in for a casting, often the first thing that you'll have to do is something called an ident, which is also sometimes called a slate, but a slate and an ident are the same thing, so we won't worry about that. A typical ident for a commercial casting looks something like this. Okay, hello Willis, if you could just give your name and agent to camera. Uh, my name is Willis, I'm with Spotlight. Great, and if you could give us your face, uh, your hands up to your face, either side. Yep, perfect. And then if you could do the left hand profile. Perfect. And then the other side as well, please. Thank you very much. And then back to the front. Get one shot. Or if you're going in for the casting of a film, TV show or theatre production, it'll probably look a little bit more like this. Hello, I'm Willis Bates and I'm with Spotlight. And whilst we're fully aware that it's not the most exciting thing about casting, it doesn't mean it's not important. So let's go into it in a bit more detail. In a commercial casting, they will usually want to know your name, so they know who you are. Uh, my name is Willis. Your agent, so that they know who to contact when they want to hire you. I'm with Spotlight. And we should also mention that Spotlight is not actually an agency. If you do not have an agent, just say self-represented. They also often want to see your hands, in case there are shots of you using the product in the commercial, profile shots, where you turn to each side to see what you look like from the side, and a full length shot to see what that looks like too. Often they'll also ask you if you've been in any conflicting commercials. For example, if you're auditioning for a Coca-Cola advert, but you've been in several Pepsi adverts over the last few years, then this is when you tell them, because they'll definitely need to know that at this stage in the casting. They may also have other questions that relate specifically to that casting, so be prepared and answer in a truthful and friendly way. For a film, TV or theatre casting, it's usually a lot simpler. They'll normally just want to hear your name and your agent, but sometimes they'll also want to know your height, or they may want to see a full length shot too. If you're filming a self-tape, then you're going to have to work out how to do this all by yourself. Make sure that you read any instructions carefully so that you know what questions they want you to answer and what they're looking for. When filming your full length shot, you don't have to work out how to do this fancy zoom thing that we do in our professional casting studios in London. You can simply record a full length shot as a separate clip. If you need further information about self-tapes, idents, or anything to do with casting, really, head to www.spotlight.com forward slash news and advice, and you'll find loads of information, podcasts, videos, articles about anything you could possibly want to know about the casting industry. Or feel free to send us an email at questions at spotlight.com. Thank you for watching.